That's the collusion between the FBI and the Mafia, especially during J. Edgar Hoover's reign. The FBI, like, like most uh, internal uh, intelligence agencies, in wanting to find out what was going on in the underworld, uh, turned to the organizers of the underworld for information. So uh, I often say that organized crime is, in a sense, tolerated crime. It's that face of crime which uh, is secure in its position because uh, the, the members of it have personal relationships with uh, members of the FBI. This, this happens in most countries, by the way, at least most developed countries. And uh, it was particularly true in uh, J. Edgar Hoover's time because Hoover, up until uh, he was forced to change his tune by Robert Kennedy, uh, kept denying there was such a thing as a mafia in America. And uh, of course, uh, he knew very well there w that there was because he, not just his agents, but he personally was in contact with them for the sake, by the way, not of getting rich, but of uh, getting information. It was his way of running the running the bureau, mm -hmm. and it led to tremendous corruption. And in the, the later years, this was mostly after Hoover, we saw cases of um, FBI agents being arrested and charged with murder because they were giving the names of other informants to the mafia so that they could kill them. Um, could you discuss the CIA's support for drug lords during the Vietnam War, its purpose, uh, its scope, and its consequences? The CIA, in trying to um, create an anti-communist presence in Southeast Asia, they were very worried, especially after China went communist. You had an enormous number of Chinese in the major cities of Southeast Asia, like Saigon, Bangkok, um, right down into uh, Jakarta and in, in Indonesia and uh, to prevent those people from just following the, the, their home country into support for communism, uh, the CIA built up what was left of Chiang Kai-shek's Kuomintang, which always had financed itself by the drug traffic and uh, starting officially in the year 1951, the CIA's Operation Paper uh, started supplying arms and other material assistance to a group of KMT uh, former soldiers in Burma whose main activity was controlling the drug traffic there and exporting drugs out of Burma through mostly through uh, Thailand to Hong Kong to Taiwan and eventually to the United States. Mm -hmm. This uh, became, this grew with time and came to support a whole CIA private army in Thailand which was then used to stir up war in Laos and really is a neglected factor in the origins of the Vietnam War, the American Vietnam War. Could you discuss the Iran-Contra affair and what it revealed about the drug war? Uh, the Iran-Contra affair of the 1980s was a, um, as far as the press was concerned, it, it, they focused mostly on the fact that uh, profits from selling arms to Iran, which was actually illegal under U.S. law but done by Oliver North for the White House, uh, that those profits had been used to support the Contras. Uh, the drug aspect of Iran-Contra is on the Contra side, partly because some of the Contras themselves were drug traffickers, particularly the original core who came out of uh, Samosa's National Guard in Nicaragua.